What's up, Prize 5 fans? I'm Brian Tong, and Sony is looking to the future with its all digital download PSP Go. But for now, it's time to put it to the test against its age old gaming rival. In this week's Prize Fight, it's a first time face off between the Nintendo DSi and the PSP Go. Our judges for this fight are Senior Review Senior Editor John Falcone, Assistant Editor Jeff Bacalar, and you know who. Now we'll take all three judges scores and average them out to the nearest 10th each round. The final prize fight score will be an average of all rounds using the same decimal system. Get ready for a five round slobanaka first round in design. The DSi rocks its dual screen with a matte finish and its thinnest clamshell design to protect its screens. But it's a little too plain and simple. The PSP Go screams spank me and its screen is bootyful. It's the sexiest PSP that fits in your pocket, but its screen is still susceptible to scratches. You might like protection, but sex sells here. The PSP Go gets a perfect 5, and the DSi gets a 4. Next round is navigation and interface. The DSi is a unique creature with a touchscreen stylus interface and physical buttons. The combination opens up a one-of-a-kind experience for gameplay and navigation. The PSP Go's media crossbar looks elegant and is familiar for longtime Sony fans, but with the Go, its buttons and D-pad are really flat, its volume placement is very questionable, and even people with small hands will feel a little cramped using the analog stick with the new design. The DSi counters this round with a 4.7, and the PSP Go gets a 3.7. So after averaging two rounds, we're tied. Next round is featured. The DSi is bringing Wi-Fi for multiplayer. You'll have access to the DSi shop to download a few titles, and I do mean a few. You won't use its sorry excuse for a web browser, and you'll find that its two 0.3 megapixel cameras won't have any lasting appeal. The SD card slot for additional memory is a nice bonus. Now the PSP Go has 16 gigs of storage with the ability to play music and videos. It also has Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Its web browser is capable, and if you don't want to load it with your own media, there's tons of content to purchase from the PlayStation Store. One knock is the expandable memory slot uses the proprietary memory stick format that we're not really fans of, but the Go really does more than just games. It's a portable media device. Sony takes round three with a 4.7, and the DSi gets hit hard with a 3.3. Next round is game library and performance. Sure, the DSi skews to a more casual and younger crowd, but on top of its unique titles, it still brings the best of Nintendo's franchises like Mario and Zelda. Its graphics aren't its strong point, but its battery life ranging from 10 to 14 hours puts the PSP Go to shame. The PSP Go has the best graphics hands down in combination with its new screen, but the game library caters to more of a hardcore crowd and there aren't as many must-have titles. Plus, not all the UMD-based games are available for download on the go. Battery life was around five hours in our test, and that's not a good thing when we squeezed over twice as much on the DSi. Nintendo takes this round with a 4.7, and Sony gets a four. So after averaging four rounds, the PSP Go takes the lead by two tenths of a point. There's still plenty more fight left, and the final round that decides it all is value. The DSi is the cheaper of the two at $169, and $30 is the highest price you'll get for games. Over the life of the product, you're getting a nice bang for your buck. The PSP Go starts at $249, which is the most expensive gaming handheld. Top titles hit $40, so you can see how this all adds up. You might call the Go an upgrade, but current PSP owners will have to repurchase all of their UMD-based games at full price to even play them on the Go. Where is the value in that? The DSi gets a 4.7 and the PSP Go gets a 3. So let's average out all five rounds. And in a battle where we started tied, the PSP Go climbed on top in round four and the DSi countered with an uppercut in the final round and takes this battle 4.3 to 4.1 and is your prize fight winner. The PSP Go all download device showed it can hang in the ring but the DSi's game library and price made the difference. Until next time, I'm Brian Tong. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you guys next time on another prize fight. Woo it's something new. The internet in the shape of you. Yahoo. 
It's you.